Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha with Zazi K Creations and I'm here today to continue sharing with you all my sewing journey as a beginner. I wanna thank you if you are a first time viewer. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video and the content of this video, please feel free to like it at the end and subscribe to my channel so you're able to get notifications when I do and post new videos for your viewing. If you are a returning viewer, I thank you again for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate and enjoy your support. So this video today is going to talk about my April sewing plans. So um, basically, you know, I've told you guys in previous videos that I'm a beginner sewist and I have not ventured out into working with um, garments as of yet. Well, that's gonna change in April. I am actually gonna work on my very first garment sew in the month of April and I'm really, really excited. I've taken a lot of courses in the Sewing Academy. I have been watching many, many videos on YouTube and I feel like I am now at a place where I'm comfortable and confident enough to go ahead and take um, sewing garments um, a try and see how I do with it. So this month in April, I will be sewing up this this here this is a self-drafted skirt and top with some flutter sleeves this is a part of a course i'm taking um, i am going to be doing this self-drafted meaning i have to take my measurements i need to um, draw my pattern lines and draw my pattern based off my measurements and then cut my pattern and then uh, prepare the garment for sewing. So this is a really, really big deal because I haven't done anything in the world of sewing garments um, as of yet. So having to do this from beginning to end is going to be really, really exciting and very interesting for me. So I'm really excited to do this. This is my April project. Um, the things I had to purchase to get this project started much of it I already had in my, my sewing um, supply stash, but I will share those with you now. Um, to work on this project, I had to get a, a drapery, a drapery flowy type um, material or fabric. I did research on a couple of websites looking for different types of fabrics I thought would work best for this project. And I end up getting a rayon material and I, got this material from, what well, is fabric rather, from L.A. Finch. It's a rayon, um, really flowy, it's not thin, um, and I really like how it came. I like how it um, ended up after I did a pre-wash of the fabric. It did not lose its color. It's still very vibrant and it feels great. The raveling is normal when you uh, pre-treat woven fabrics, so that's okay. Um, when I get ready to sew this up, I will be sure to not use these raveled ends of the fabric. Um, I did have the option to use other fabrics such as gauze. I really wanted a gauze fabric, but I was unable to really find a um, gauze that I thought would not be too thin, considering this is a skirt and a um, top that I could wear for the spring and summer. I um, had a hard time finding a gauze that was not thin enough where I had to use a liner. So I opted to use or opted to purchase the rayon fabric that I just showed you from LA Finch Fabrics. Um, I did go to a couple of my Facebook groups and I put the question out there in terms of gauze. Did anyone have any ideas for um, a decent gauze I could use that wouldn't be too thin? And someone recommended um, a bubble gauze fabric that they purchased from Joanne. So I did go and buy some bubble gauze fabric, but it was after I purchased this one here. So I will um, likely use the bubble gauze for another project, or if I do this project again, I will use my bubble gauze fabric for that. So um, I got this fabric on sale from LA Finch Fabrics. It was uh, $6 a yard, and I think I got four yards of it. Um, and I did not want this to go out of stock with it being on sale. So I went ahead and purchased it as soon as I like saw it available. Um, so I did pre-treat my fabric, as I just mentioned. Um, I pre-treated my fabric. Um, so I typically don't 
pre-treat my fabrics because I'd only up to this point been doing things like um, zipper pouches and tote bags. Um, oh no, actually I did. I did pre-treat a couple of things. I did some burping cloths for some babies and I did um, a blanket for a baby. And I went ahead and pre-treated that fabric because I wanted to make sure that it was okay on the baby's, on the infant skin. So I did pre-treat that fabric. But for the most part, if it's not a wearable item, I don't, I haven't been pre-treating it. But moving forward, I will pre-treat my fabrics because I understand and know that um, it's best to pre-treat because what you don't want is after you sew up your item and you start to wear it, toss in the washing machine, dry it, you don't want it to shrink on you. If you pre-treat it beforehand, then you avoid any shrinkage when after you wear the fabric, after you wear your garment, and it's just... Um, just you know a smarter thing to do so that i'll make sure i pre-treat moving forward um i used all free and clear when i pre-treated this um this rayon fabric i washed it on a very um small cycle uh light wash and i did a very um i did a delicate dry on it in the dryer so it was able to come out um, just as nice as it was when i purchased it from la finch fabrics so um i'm happy that that turned out well in terms of other things other notions and supplies i need for this project um i need to have some elastic um half inch wide knit elastic I also need to have three quarter inch wide braided elastic and I was able to purchase those from Wawak. Um, and I have those here. I haven't opened it yet, but I got these from Wawak. Um, Wawak has been really great in terms of um, delivery. I think I ordered this one day and it was in my mailbox or it came like the very next day, not the day after. So you order it and it came two days later. So I was really happy about that. And uh, I remember I purchased a couple other items from Wild Wagon in the past and consistently they've been really great about, you know, um, fast delivery. Sometimes you pay a little bit more for the delivery. Um, I did not pay extra for delivery, but sometimes depending on what you purchase, your delivery charges could be more than the item that you're actually purchasing. So just kind of be mindful about that. Um, but if you're really anxious to get your project started and too lazy like I was to kind of go out and look for what you needed, um, Wild Whack is definitely a, a, the way to go because I was very happy with what I purchased from them. So yeah, I got these here. Um, and I got some other elastic as well that they're a smaller size because I figure at some point I will be making um, maybe the same outfit for my daughters. And their elastic wouldn't need to be as thick as mine. So I got a smaller size for them. This is the knit elastic and this is the braided elastic. So I do have this in my stash. And who knows, if I don't, if I don't do this outfit for them, at least I have the um, elastic in my stash. Other items I needed to have, of course, is a safety pin. That is so I'm able to pull the elastic through the waistband and through the top of the shirt i need to have straight pins which is a standard item that if you're sewing you already have or you should have in your stash um a ruler or yardstick that is for the pattern drafting the lines for the pattern drafting of course a measurement um tape so i could take my personal measurements um scissors both for paper and fabric because you don't want to use your um fabric scissors and paper scissors like you want to use them separately like you want to use your your fabric scissors only for fabric and paper scissors only for paper it um, prevents wear and tear and dulling of your scissors pattern weights a pencil and a marker so that i can draw my lines on my craft paper and then finally as i stated the craft paper i had that here this is a 30 inch by 100 foot craft roll that i purchased from amazon I purchased one before and it was a lot shorter. It wasn't it wasn't as wide. It was I think 18 inches and I was a little disappointed about that. I didn't pay attention to the the width of the roll itself, so I went ahead and had to buy another one and that's 30 inches. And I figured I would I'll definitely have this for 
lots of other projects if I work on things I have to draft a template or a pattern for. So I had this ready to go. Uh, what else here? So fabric choice I talked about. Um, preparing the fabric I talked about. How I want to break down this project. So there are several parts to this project. There is the measurements. I have to take measurements. Sorry, I had a call come in and I could not take it right now. I um have to take measurements, so I will make sure I take some time to do that. That's probably the first thing I'll do, phase one. Um, as I told you before, I like to um, measure three times, cut once, just to make sure that my measurements are consistent. Um, then I need to go ahead and start drafting the pattern itself. So I would do that using my craft paper. Drafting it is pretty much drawing the lines, um, putting the notches in place, putting the, um, I guess maybe the snip lines in place or the clip lines in place. Um, everything I need to do to make sure I'm able to, to cut out the pattern later and use that pattern for the actual garment itself for the fabric I have here. Um, what else would I do? So after I do my drafting of the pattern, I'll then go ahead and cut out my fabric and then prepare my fabric. I'll make sure I iron it nice and, and make sure it's nice and crisp. I would likely do that. Um, yeah, I'll do that after I cut out the pattern, I think. I'm not sure. I might have to iron before I do the drafting of the pattern. I have to think about that some. But at any rate, I will make sure I um, iron my fabric and then I will begin the construction of the fa of the uh, garment itself. So um, I think for the most part of this project, I'll probably spend the most time in the drafting of the pattern for precise measurements and precise lines and precise um, notching and things of that sort. And then the rest of the time will really come in where I'm trying to um, probably not cut the not cut the fabric. I think I'll be okay with that once I get the uh, pattern drafted. I think the rest of the time will really come in heavy when I have to begin constructing the actual garment itself. So I will um, make sure I post on my Instagram. Um, my different phases and where I am in this month as I go through this garment making. I will um, come back in a later video at the end of April just to talk about, you know, what I've done and, and how it turned out. Um, I know that April is a very, very busy month. Um, there's Easter, there's spring break along with everything else that happens that we just have no control over. So, or things that are pretty routine for, you know, my family. So um, I'm gonna do my very best to get this done by the end of April. If not, I'm okay with that. I will just carry it into May. Um, hopefully not too far into May, but I will carry this into the month of May if I need to. Uh, I did purchase um, or have other fabric here that I thought I might get around to using in April, but if I don't, all right, I'll have it for another project or for something I want to do later. But I wanted to make um, some box shaped zippered pouches. So I've done a couple of zipper pouches in the past, but I haven't done a box shaped one. And I did find a nice YouTube video that I plan to follow and do a box shape. I don't anticipate this to be really complicated because I kind of un already understand how to um, place the fabric on the zipper, how to sew the zipper on and things of that nature. But I think creating the whole box shape is what might be a little bit more challenging since I haven't done it before. But for the most part, it's the same concept as like doing a basic zipper pouch. So, um, and the one fabric I purchased for that purpose is this one here. It's just a, I think these are roses, right? Uh, they might not be roses. I'm not sure what they are, but I saw this print in Joanne. I thought it really like caught my eye. So this is, this will be what I use for um, one of the zipper pouches. And I think I purchased um, a half a yard of this, maybe a yard. I think I bought a yard. Yeah, I think there's a yard of this here. 
it's pretty bold but it's just for a pouch so it's you know i'm not too concerned about it but it did catch my eye as a red bright and vibrant print and um i also did this fabric here the same thing for a zipper pouch a box shaped zipper pouch and this will be for my husband and um basically we're gonna keep these in the vehicle as a way to keep our items um, organized and neat and um, out of the way so that things aren't you know all around the all around the truck and and just everywhere but in its right place so hopefully he uses his I'm definitely going to be using mine because I am a stickler for everything has its place um, so I do want to make sure I use this for my vehicle and I'm hoping that he'll use his as well um, and I got this red zipper to go along with mine thought that was a nice match and I got just a basic black one for his real simple um, to not make things too complicated I did just a basic black liner for each one this is a cotton and I think I got two yards of this uh, I can never have enough of the liner or the basic solid color um cotton fabric they're really good for clutches and bags and um, things like that so i have this here and i also purchased some some more uh interface this would just give the clutch i'm sorry the zipper pouch a little bit of stability i probably could have gotten the fleece but i opted to do just the regular interface stabilizer just to kind of give it some structure so those are my plans for the month of April. Um, like I said, my focus will really, really be on um, this nice two-piece skirt and top set. If I do this successfully, I will do another one for my daughters. Um, I'll give them, make them two matching sets in time for the spring and summer, or maybe in time for the summer, we'll see. Um, I will not, pro I will, um, I hear rain coming down. It's nice. Um, I'm sorry. I'm really been liking the sound of rain these days. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. Um, but anyway, I am going to be posting on my Instagram page, my progress for the month of April. And I will come back, um, later in the, um, at the end of April to share with you all what I've done, how it turned out um some successes and some some I don't want to say failures but I'm um don't anticipate this will be an easy so I'm sure I'll probably have some challenges along the way but I'll make sure I share those as well so uh if you like my video please feel free to like it um below and subscribe to my channel so that you get more insight and information on what I'm doing in my sewing journey. And until next time, God bless. I'll talk to you later. Bye.